Hey guys, what's up? My name's Kayla from Planning with Kay, and welcome to another video. It's that time of the month again, which means today is the day that I get ready for June and set up my monthly spreads in my bullet journal. As you may or may not know, every single month I choose a theme from your guys' suggestions in the comments of the previous month's Plan With Me video. And last month, a handful of you suggested a camping theme. My partner and I absolutely love going on weekend camping trips, especially in the summer months when it's nice and warm at night. So I decided that a camping theme would be an absolute perfect way to celebrate June and the start of summer. If you have a suggestion for next month's theme, be sure to leave it in the comments below and I may choose your theme and show your comment in next month's video. So I'm going to be setting up all of my spreads today using the new three sheet camping monthly sticker kit. To match the kit, I also released a separate decorative sheet and a separate functional add-on sheet for anyone who wants a bit more. And I'm also going to be using my new horizontal number strip stickers that y'all have been requesting for quite some time now, all of which are available in my Etsy shop. To celebrate, I'm also hosting a huge mid-year sale going on right now that's 20% off my entire shop all the way through Friday, May 26th. So after this video, be sure to go check out the link to my shop in the description below. So before I start setting up my new June spreads, my kitty Luna is going to join me while I flip through the last month in my bullet journal. So that way you can see what last month's spreads looked like compared to this month's. So at the end of April, I started using the monthly sticker kit that I designed for my May spreads, which was this under the sea tropical inspired theme. And I've been absolutely loving using this over the past month. So after a weekly spread and a few spreads of daily logs to finish up April, we get into my May spreads that I set up in last month's plan with me video. As usual, I started off my setup with a calendar style monthly overview, along with a monthly to-do list and a color code in the bottom right corner. This spread worked out really great for me this month. The only thing is that as you can see, I didn't really use the to-do list section throughout the month since most of my tasks end up going on my weekly spreads rather than on this main monthly spread. So I'm gonna be switching this up just a little bit for June. After that is my trusty daily review spread, which is my take on the classic one line a day and mood tracking spreads, where I jot down a two line summary of my day and fill in a box to signify what my day was like. This spread has continued to be a favorite of mine throughout the month, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this and pretty much keeping it exactly the same when I go to set up my June spreads. After that is the last of my May spreads, which was my monthly habit tracker. Over the last few months, I've been growing more and more in love with habit tracking, and that has only continued throughout the month of May. Habit tracking has become really vital for me throughout the day, as it's how I track all of my important work tasks, as well as keep up with my personal health goals. I've absolutely loved using this categorized habit tracker so far this month, and for June, I'm gonna be amping this spread up even more. So after that, we just have all of my various weekly, daily, and collection spreads so far for the month of May, using the same tropical under the sea theme that I used for my May monthly spreads. This month was also when I filmed my five types of habit trackers video. So you can see those habit trackers in here as well. And I finish it off with a few daily logs using my new camping theme. As always, I designed the stickers for this month's theme using the app Procreate with my iPad Pro and my Apple Pencil. 
using some reference photos that I found on Pinterest. While I run the time lapse of the design process on my iPad, I thought I'd take this time to quickly showcase some of your guys' journal spreads that you tagged me in over on Instagram this month, either using my stickers or inspired by my own journal. You guys really did not disappoint this last month with all of your beautiful creations in your journals. And I absolutely love all of the colorful springtime vibes that you guys were giving me with your spreads. I say this every single time, but you all are so dang talented. And I'm always so blown away to see how you guys take my stickers or the spreads that I've created and transform them into something that's completely your own. One of my favorite things is sharing your guys' creations in my Plan With Me video every month. So don't forget to keep tagging me at planning with K in your photos on Instagram using my stickers or inspired by my spreads and you may get featured in my next plan with me video. So now that I have my stickers designed and ready to go, it's time to get into my June bullet journal setup. I'm starting off my main monthly dashboard with this purple campfire header sticker from the kit and I'm then going across the page with these weekly headers for my calendar. Since I'm omitting my task list this month from this monthly dashboard page, I decided to make my calendar a bit larger than usual with each day taking up a box that is five boxes wide and five boxes tall. I'm then using the top row of each box as a spot to write the date, and I'm using these three Crayola Super Tips in a light purple, light pink, and a golden yellow to fill in those top rows. And as usual, the black pen that I'm using throughout this entire setup is a Tombow Mono Drawing Pen in the size 03. I'm then going back to the main header with this monthly dashboard sticker and I'm finishing it up by writing June using the purple Tombow dual brush pen and the same black pen for the drop shadow. To fill in the bit of empty space on the top right, I'm creating this stripe across the page, filling it in with the pink, purple, and yellow from before, this time letting the colors overlap a little bit so it kind of looks like a gradient across that stripe. So now it's time for the bottom of this spread. Since I didn't really use my to-do list last month, I decided not to include one on this month's monthly dashboard, and instead I decided to create a section for some monthly goals, limiting myself to three main goals to focus on this month. After that, I'm using the rest of the spread for a little decorative quote, starting off by sticking in these little pine tree stickers. I'm then using a light pink Tombow dual brush pen, the same yellow Crayola super tip, and my black pen to letter in a quote that reads, from little seeds grow mighty trees, which I thought was very fitting to go with the theme this month.
Next up, I'm gonna set up my daily review spread. I'm starting off with this tent header at the top and my daily review sticker that's included with the monthly kit. I'm then just taking this dark blue Crayola brush pen to write June at the top. To set up the bulk of my daily review, all I do is take my black pen and draw out a rectangle on the left side of each page, 30 boxes tall by 4 boxes wide, split into two columns down the middle. I then divide each rectangle into 15 rows, two boxes per row, so that way you have day 1 through 15 on the left and 16 through 30 on the right. I'm then going to go in and fill in all the squares on the left, alternating colors with the same yellow and pink Crayolas from before, as well as this bright blue to match the header. I'm then going to the top right to create my key, which will have nine different colors to describe how my day was. So the idea is that throughout the month, I will then fill in the second square next to each day with whatever color corresponds to how that day went. Finally, I'm finishing off this spread by writing in the dates with my Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen. Moving right along, I'm going to set up my June habit tracker. If you watched my 5 types of habit trackers video, you might remember that I showcased a style that I called the extended habit tracker, which runs all the way down an entire spread and separates a long list of habits into a few digestible categories, essentially like having a separate habit tracker for each of those categories. So I'm using this pink hammock header at the top, as well as the habit tracker sticker from the kit, and then I'm using a golden yellow Crayola brush pen to write June on the right side of the header. I'm then going in and drawing out the boxes for my five different categories, giving myself 30 spaces across for the 30 days of the month, and a space seven spaces wide to write the habits themselves. For the numbers down the length of each box, I'm going in with my new horizontal number strips in the warm tone color variation, grabbing these light pink ones that perfectly match the header at the top. Now in the empty space to the left of each number strip, I'm writing the categories with that yellow Crayola, and my categories this month are Etsy, which is essentially just all of my work-related tasks, Social, which is all about my social media accounts. Luna, where I'll track a few things related to my kitty Luna, who you can see is sound asleep while I'm setting this up. Life, which just has my standard daily habits like working out and having a healthy breakfast. And finally, Home, which just has some household chores that I want to keep track of this month. I then finish off this spread by writing in all of my habits for the month. On this next page, I'm setting up something new for this month, which is a monthly budget page for keeping track of all of my bills, income, and spending for the month of June. I'm starting off with a mountain header and a monthly budget sticker at the top, and again, just writing in June with that blue Crayola brush pen. I'm then using two of the small blank rectangle stickers from the kit side by side for my bills tracker and a log of all incoming and outgoing money, which I'm calling in and out. For my bills, I'm first using one of my medium 2018 calendars that's available in my shop, and I meant to use the sticker for June, but I accidentally used the February sticker, as you can tell because it only has 28 days, so a little bit later I just fixed that by writing in 29 and 30 with a black pen. I'm then just drawing in the boxes for both of these sections with the same black pen and yellow Crayola, as well as a bright light blue Crayola. For the bills, I have a section for checking off once it's paid the date, what the bill is for, the amount, and the weekly total. And for my in and out, I have a section for how much money I made that week, how much was set aside for bills, how much went to savings, and finally, how much was left for spending. 
For my bills, I also decided to highlight all of the bills in pink that aren't paid automatically, so that way I can easily see which ones require me to pay manually. To finish off this spread, I'm then using this decorative sticker from the kit to fill in the empty space in the bottom corner, and finally, coloring in the days that bills are due on that medium calendar. Across from my budget, I'm reintroducing a gratitude page to my monthly spreads. I tend to go back and forth when it comes to gratitude logs. Sometimes I have them, sometimes I don't, and it really just depends on my mood that month. But I decided since it's been a couple months since I've done a gratitude log that I'd bring it back for June, simply as a space to jot down all the things I'm grateful for every single day. I use the little camper van sticker from the kit for the header, and then I'm using a blue vertical number strip that I actually included in that functional add-on sticker sheet. All right, so as usual, I'm going to finish off my monthly plan with me by setting up the first weekly spread of the month. I'm starting off by using these circular mountain weekly headers, sticking them on the left side of the left page, giving each day a box that is five spaces tall. For the dates, I'm drawing a rectangle that is three boxes tall by two boxes wide next to each header, coloring them in with a light blue and a light purple Tombow dual brush pen to match the headers, as well as giving them a yellow drop shadow. I write the dates in using my Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen. I then separate each day with a black line and split them in half, using one side for any personal events or tasks for the week, and the other side for any business events or tasks. After that, I'm then dividing the right page in half for my two to-do lists for the week. For each to-do list, I'm first using a circular quote sticker on the left, and then going in with one of the two banner stickers from that add-on sheet on the right, writing either business tasks or personal tasks with a colored Crayola marker and my black pen. After that, I'm creating my boxes for my tasks on the left side, coloring it in with that same yellow Crayola, and finishing it off with some tree and camper van decorative stickers on the right. And just like that, that's the end of my June bullet journal setup. I think this might be one of my favorite monthly setups yet in my journal. I am just so in love with this theme and the colors throughout these pages, and I also think that functionally this setup is going to make a world of difference for me in June. I added quite a few new things with the extended habit tracker, monthly budget, and gratitude pages, while keeping the things that work the same, like my calendar monthly log and my daily review spread. All in all, I'm just super stoked to get June underway and to start using these monthly pages. If you want to set up similar spreads in your own journal, don't forget to check out my new camping monthly kit, the camping and exploring decorative sheet, the functional monthly add-on sheet, and my new horizontal number strips. And take advantage of the huge 20% sale that's going on right now through Friday in my Etsy shop. As always, the link to my shop is in the description below. 
All right, guys, that's it for this month's plan with me video. I hope you loved this month's camping theme setup. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a like and leave your suggestion for next month's theme in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you're not already at Planning with K. And as always, the links to my shop and all of my other social medias are in the description below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.